Let's make some viral lunchbox recipes. Oh. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Kimbap. I found three lunchbox ideas that look delicious, but do they taste as good as they look? Let's find out. This lunchbox will definitely put a smile on your face. Don't forget to thumb. Thumb. Thumb this video. <laughs> bento box. I can't wait until Lila gets older and goes to school and I'll pack all these really cute lunches. Now before I get cooking, I want to give a big thanks to KiwiCo for sponsoring today's video. KiwiCo is dedicated to crafting educational and enjoyable moments for kids of all ages. I first discovered their panda crates designed for ages 0 to 36 months whilst I was pregnant with little Lila here and it's been a game changer. I no longer have to fuss about what kind of toys to get her because every two months we receive a crate full of age appropriate items chosen by childhood development experts. These are top quality toys that encourage baby led play, helping with brain development and improving motor skills. I love that Lila is always engaged with her KiwiCo products, and at just 16 months, she's able to recognize numbers, shapes, and even solve simple puzzles. Where's the number 10? Yay! Seven, eight, nine, and Lila, where's number four? Yeah. Pretty impressive, I must say. If you're a fellow parent, grandparent, maybe even an uncle or an aunt, and you're looking for the best gift to give a child, I highly recommend checking out kiwico.com slash Tina Yong. And bonus, you can use my code Tina Yong to get 50% off your first month of KiwiCo. As always, I'll leave the details for you guys in my description box. The assistant queen of chaos. She's back. Back from her holiday. The first thing we're going to tackle is the tamago yaki, which is the Japanese omelette style egg. I've never made this, but I did a quick Google. You only need some simple ingredients. You need your eggs. I'm going to use four. Soy sauce, mirin, a little bit of sugar and salt. Step one, crack all the eggs. I've got my four eggs. I'm putting one tablespoon of mirin, a quarter teaspoon soy sauce. I'm actually measuring today, guys. I've leveled up a little bit. A generous pinch. Why don't they ever measure salt properly? Why is it always a pinch? Like, how do you measure a pinch? And now they're saying a generous pinch. I'm gonna mix that together. FYI, this is a simplified recipe that we found. The other ones call for like dashi broth, which I don't have lying around the kitchen. So I hope this works. Diverting from that simplified recipe already, I saw another recipe they use milk to make it fluffy. So I'm gonna add a dash of milk in. I mean, that's how you make scrambled eggs. Yeah. That's how you make fluffy scrambled eggs, so it makes sense, right? We have a database of knowledge. Is it correct or not? I don't know. One thing that you definitely need is one of these pans because we want to create that shape for the tamago yaki. We're going to do it in layers, so it's easy to do it with this pan. I don't know how you would do it with a normal pan. Put some oil. I don't know, maybe it absorbed all of it. Should I just keep putting more? Just putting my toner on, guys. A ladle of that. It's already pretty because it's like a rectangle. So I'm spreading that out. How do I, how do I do this? I can't even get the first fold right. <laughs> fold. Oh no, it's burning. Um, I need to turn the heat down. I'm too slow because it's my first time. A bit of a noob. Put it on the lowest heat because I'm slow. Oh, I got to connect it. Yeah, yeah, lift it up. Apparently the trick is to pop the bubbles, guys. Pop the bubbles. Better. Oh, better, better, better. Ooh, push it to the bottom and we go again. Pop, pop, pop. It's tricky. This is the trickiest part. Ooh, oh, it's a good one. Oh. It's getting better. Pop, pop, pop. Ooh. That's a good size. The next component of this lunchbox are the bacon wrapped veggies. So we have carrot and cucumber, which he wrapped up. The cucumber, I actually half cooked so then they're not too hard 
but I don't know if you have to do that. I just decided to. You cooked the cucumbers? Did you say cucumbers? Yeah. I meant carrots. <laughs> I cooked the carrots, not the cucumbers. Cucumbers can stay crunchy. Now we wrap them up in their blankie. Ta-da! They see me rolling, they hate it. And then we're popping them on the pan to cook. You can use the same pan. Next up, we're going to cook our spam. I haven't had spam in ages. I used to live off this stuff after school. So we're just gonna cut these up, cube them, and then fry them up. And then these will be the center of our onigiri. I like that this is just like a one pan recipe. <laughs> I'm gonna also cook some sausages. She filled up the spots in the lunchbox with the sausage. Also, I want to try out this really cute sausage decorator thing that I found in Daiso. Then I'm going to use this onigiri mold. I actually couldn't find one at Daiso. I went to a couple and guess what? I told Alfred, I think he can 3D print one. And he did! Oh my god, he printed that? Yeah, 3D <gasps> printed that. I thought you guys bought that. Oh my gosh. Line the onigiri mold with the cling wrap so it doesn't stick. Fill it up with a layer of rice. Oh, you can't really put that many cubes of Spam in here. Then more rice. I've never made one. I always just buy one when we're in Japan, but I'm a change woman. Cover it, put the lid on it. Time for the reveal. Did it work? Wow! Look! That looks so legit. That looks so good. Look at that. Less rice, more Spam. Is that too much Spam? Ooh. That is so satisfying. <gasps> oh. Now nah, it's cute. Now we're gonna dress our onigiri. Oh. How cute is that? That is legit. Okay. Oh gosh, it's falling apart. <gasps> it lost a corner. Onigiri down. Onigiri down. Oh my god, it's falling apart. Are you used to cling right? Moment of truth, let's slice our egg. I know. Oh my gosh. Already. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you gotta make little faces. You make the faces here. whilst I try this contraption. Okay, I'm imprinting her face on the sausage. <laughs> Ew, that doesn't look that cute. That looks a bit scary. Okay, this was a fail. Oh my god, this is, this is stressful stuff. It took us ages to make these little faces, guys, because I don't have those cute Japanese seaweed cutouts. <sighs> Don't judge our faces. Egg here. Ah! These lunch boxes are a labor of love. Ooh! Okay. There you go, <laughs> elevated. Yay! Hey, that looks okay. good. Wow! Wow. It looks real cute from the front, but this guy is like splitting open because we put too much spam on him. Because the face is blotched, guys. Yeah, because we we had to hand cut the your onigiri mold. Epic. Epic, yeah, so I good. Epic, not my design, but epic. Woo! Oh. Cheers! Cheers! It was all rice. I thought all rice too. No, well, the rice is well cooked. Second bite. Mmm, what's mm. that? With the spam. We'll try the other elements, the bacon wrapped veggies. Oh, oh very salty. Mm. 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 Wow. Oh, these are so good. <laughs> Job on the egg, man. Yep. Dang. Mm. Wow. Mm. She's bouncy, she's fluffy. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Hot dog. Mm. Tastes like yeah. hot dog. I'm really happy to make this for lunch every day. Thank you. Do you know how long it took me? And I had Zen to help. If if you wanted this every day for lunch at 12 o'clock, I would have to start making it at 7 a.m. Okay. Sounds good to me. As a box, as a whole. As a whole. If you had this for lunch. Damn, I'd be so happy. We all agree that if we had this for lunch, we would be very, very happy and impressed. It would make our day, right? The best element of the lunchbox, do you think it's the egg? Yes. Yeah. The egg. The egg was a clear winner. But I think when you're eating this at lunch, right, you can have a little bit of everything. So everything combines really well. Will it be the best lunchbox we make today? Find out until the end. Overall, this is a double thumbs. If you've watched Squid Game, you would have seen this Korean style lunchbox. Traditional Korean lunchbox or toshirak. Here are some spam. Fried egg. 
kimchi, sugar, and saute. Rice, drizzles of sesame seed oil, fried egg, spam, sauteed kimchi, choice of banchan. I like these beans that are cooked in soy sauce. And I like it with a little bit of gochujang or Korean red pepper paste. Close the lid and enjoy. Let's go, traditional Korean lunchbox. Spam, let's heat that up. Your egg skills. Oh gosh, my egg skills are the worst. Do you think I can do it with one hand? I've never been able to do it with one hand. Today will be the Today day. Today might be the day, okay? Wish me luck. How do you split it? Oh no, I can't, can't, sorry. Can't, I couldn't. The pressure, I couldn't perform. Whoa, whoa. All right, egg, you got no chill. Oh, this kimchi. I haven't had kimchi. I haven't so had kimchi in so long too. What's wrong with us? This used to be our staple. Sugar? Some sugar, because we sweet. Is that sugar or salt? That's sugar, my heart, my heart. Like, it needs room, right? It just needs a bit. <laughs> We're ready to assemble. I've got my rice, this is some sesame oil. Carefully place my egg on. Ah, it's gonna be on the side. Sorry, just, just, just come to the middle. Oh, that kimchi, man. The beans, I just got a store-bought one. And then some gochujang. It's a toshira. Toshira. Let's all shake it as a team. We'll go sideways too. And this way. Oh my god. Did it work? Oh, yeah. ah. I reckon it's just easier to mix it with a spoon, guys. We're not about that shaking like. Oh, because then you have to wash the lid as well. Oh, gosh. Look at that lid. After mixing by hand. Let's go. Mm. Wow, straight up, double spoons up. It tastes so good. It tastes really good, the kimchi. It's got that little bit of a spicy kick, the Spam. Who doesn't love Spam? And because we made our egg a little bit runny, it kind of just oozed everywhere all over the egg. Everyone's just gone for seconds. This is a tough one. Definitely a really, really good lunchbox. It may not look like the prettiest, but this is full of flavor, guys. Does this one outrank the bento, the cute bento? I would outrank it because honestly, this is so much easier to yeah, do okay, as well. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's true. Alfred, if you wanted to either eat this for lunch every day, I could make it and it'll be a lot quicker. Yeah. I think we all agree, this lunchbox outranks the bento one. Ooh, what about this last recipe we're gonna try? Will that be the better one? This sweet grandma makes the best work lunches. What my Korean grandma packed in my work lunch. First, we're gonna make the Korean pancake using the zucchini and the sausage. So there is a batter that she makes, which has three tablespoons of flour, salt and pepper, and one egg. You're gonna do one hand? No, nah, never doing that one hand thing ever again. Why, why, why stress? Why stress myself? Cooking's already stressful enough. This looks a little bit thick. Maybe she used a very large egg. I'm adding another egg in because our mixture is too thick. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I see many Yeah, shells. you see why I don't do one-handed? Ah! Maybe with two hands, I'm, I'm just like, not even getting by. In goes my zucchini slices. I want to coat both sides. Oh. By the way, how cute is that grandma, guys? Little story, when I was in school, my mom would just pack me a Devon sandwich. It was pretty basic. I really wanted to bring rice to school, but one time I did with Titka, and I got teased, because the other kids were like, oh, what is that? Why, why does that look funny and smells funny? And so after that, I was traumatized and only brought sandwiches to school. Oh. It does look like a pancake. <laughs> it actually looks, did I make my batter too thick? It actually looks like pancake. 
<laughs> Not sure if it's supposed to look like that. Next, I'm gonna do the same with the sausages. I'm just using one that I could find, but I should use fish sausage. I couldn't find that. I'm just using pork sausages. Next component is the kimbap. Grandma actually seasoned her rice and I got these furukake flakes. Ooh. Oh, pretty. Now I'm gonna spread the rice on my seaweed. The rice is just sticking to my fingers. Today is a rice kind of day. I only don't even eat rice. I know you you don't eat rice. Zen is so weird. Like we'll go out to eat and I'm eat. like, okay, how many rices am I gonna order? Just me and Alfred, because Zen doesn't eat rice. She's a noodle girl. I'm a noodle gal. Quick poll, team rice or team noodle? Rice, rice, baby. Dun, dun. <laughs> rice, rice, baby. Okay, what am I gonna do with all this rice? Mm. The flakes are really good. Mm. Next is egg. I don't know what that red thing she put was, but I'm gonna put carrot, cucumber, and we have spam left over, so I'm thinking, why not add it in? Then she uses like the rice to glue the ends together, I guess. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, it's looking good, guys. Arr. Let's cut it up. Our lunchbox is kind of complete. I don't have an extra tray in my lunchbox for the fruit, so I would just pack a whole <laughs> apple. <laughs> Let's try the apple first. Everyone take a bite. <laughs> the veggies and the sausage. Wow, these sausages. The sausage is really good, eh? Yeah. But that's because we bought a very expensive sausage. Not bad, not bad. Hold your thought because we still have the kimbap. Oh! <laughs> kimbap. Mm. Kimbap is definitely the main here and the other two, they're more of like a little side. So if we were to rate this as a whole, and don't forget, of course, there's fruit. I would be happy with this lunch. I wouldn't be super impressed though. I reckon it's just because of the grandma. Grandma gets bonus points. Yeah, grandma probably made it way better than so us. You know. Actually still a great lunch box. Just comparing it with the other two we did. Ooh, okay, yeah. let's rank it. Let's rank it. Do we remember what we ate? The cute bento. Cute bento. Toshira. Kimbap. It's a tough one. Oh gosh, it's tough. No, I know which one is number one. The toshira. Yes. The traditional Korean lunchbox, definitely on top. Second is the cute bento, because the egg. Mm. And then the kimbap. Not saying that this one is bad, it's just not up there. You just have to combine all three into one lunchbox. Yeah, I'd like all three things. Yes. Kimbap, <laughs> one and a half. Slap Why did you just head. slap my bun? <laughs> That's a one and a side thumb. Half thumbs like that. Oh. oh yeah, yeah. This one is a one and a half. I'm getting crap. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> For more TikTok recipes, check out our other video. It's on screen somewhere. Also, don't forget to click subscribe and <gasps> thumb, thumb, thumb this video. Yeah. This is the hardest part of the day. What what kind of thumb style oh, will she do? One. Don't forget to thumb. Thumb. thumb this video. <laughs> it's a thumb tower. Bye.